Hello to all my naturals out there. I am Adrienne of Adrienne's Naturals and this is week two, or should I say phase two of my transition to natural deodorant. I know y'all ready for me to dive right in and tell y'all if I was extra stinky this week <laughs> or extra sweaty this week. But before we get into all that, I just wanna let you guys know why you should strongly consider making this switch to natural deodorant. Reason number one, I know y'all don't wanna hear this one, but reason number one is because sweating is okay. It's okay to sweat. Your body actually needs to sweat. Sweating is how our body cools itself down and releases toxins, so sweating's okay. That's number one. When we use those other regular deodorants that we used to that are bad for us, they clog up the pores, they trap all that sweat in, and that's really just not good because your body needs to release that. So sweating is fine. You'll get used to it. Reason number two, your sweat doesn't smell. Don't think just because you're gonna be sweating more possibly that you're gonna stink or have this super strong, crazy odor. After doing some research, I found out that it's not your sweat that smells, it's when the sweat mixes with the bacteria that naturally grows on your skin. And while we're on the topic of sweat, those stains that you get on your white shirts, under your armpits, those are not sweat stains that are just because you were sweating a lot and all that stuff, no. It's a result of the aluminum compound that's found in the deodorant. So, um, you wanna keep your shirts looking good? You might wanna make that switch, baby. Okay, so reason number three, and probably the most important reason why you should consider making this switch is the diseases that are linked to using those deodorants. So that's to include Alzheimer's, breast cancer, and some actually believe that the toxins that are in those deodorants are linked to infertility. So those are three important things to consider and think about when, you know, consider making that switch. What's more important than your health? Come on, you guys. So in conclusion, natural deodorant doesn't clog the pores, allowing that good bacteria to do its job, resulting in less odor over time. And most importantly, from the horror stories that I've heard from different people that I've been talking to while making this transition, no irritation on your armpits. I've heard some very terrible stories about uh, reactions that people have been having as a result of these um, high brand, you know, those known brand names, we not gonna name them, deodorants. So no irritation, no chemical burns, no, nothing crazy like that going on on the armpit. Okay, so now let's get into what y'all really came here for week two, well, phase two, how, how that treated me. So during phase two, I started to become confident wearing my natural deodorant. It feels very lightweight underneath the armpits, which I love, and the essential oil smell is not overwhelming, so it's not clashing with, you know, my perfumes I like to wear, which is awesome. So I love that part about it. On days eight and nine, I had practically no funk, and it kind of shocked me at the end of the day when I stiffed my armpits. I was like, I was just like, okay, okay, we, we get somewhere. So as the week went on, I did start to smell some funk underneath my armpits, but it was nothing crazy. I wasn't turning heads. Nobody was whispering behind my back. Um, but I did have, you know, a little bit of funk at the end of the day. Um, nothing crazy. It was less than phase one, week one. And um, sweating, I was not sweating more than I felt like I should have going throughout my normal day. So it wasn't this crazy outpour underneath my armpits. It was just normal sweating that uh, I feel like I should do as a normal person. <laughs> so last, I wanted to talk to you guys about why I picked a blend of rosemary and lemongrass for my first batch of natural deodorant, aside from the fact that it has a nice fresh smell. So this blend is said to be anti-inflammatory, antibacterial, antifungal, antiseptic, antioxidant, um, have astringent properties, meaning pretty much is helping your girl fight them odor causing bacteria that live underneath the armpit. Well, that's all I have for you guys today. That was phase two, my experience with week two. Um, it's going to be a total of a four week process to get these armpits going. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. 
Let me know what you like, what you don't like. Let me know what, what more you guys want to know about this process. Uh, comment below and I can answer your questions in the next video. Just let me know what's up.